members! Welcome, Buccaneers, to the Pixel Pirate Plays. This is your host, Pixel Pirate, and today we are taking a look at a game called Tally Glitch. This game is pretty cool. It's a roguelike. It is a top-down shooter. Uh, everything is procedurally generated, or at least the levels are, sorry. There are 20 types of opponents, 40 types of weapons. Uh, one interesting thing about this game is that you can, you can combine items and weapons to make new things. So, there are some examples here. You can create a, a can gun, an empty can, plus nails, plus explosives. <laughs> or you can modify the assault rifle and... Make it shoot depleted uranium bullets. So, pretty nifty here. Alright, so... Uh, it is developed by EPCC and it's available on Desura and their website for around $13. Uh, if you want to go and pick up the game, I, I highly recommend that you go to their website and buy it from there. Um, you might want to buy it on Desura and that's all fine and good, no problem. I don't have any problem with you, but... Uh, if you buy it from their website directly, then they get all the money, so, you know. And I think they deserve it, because this game is pretty cool. So let's have a look at the options. You can change the controls. Oh, yes you can, I think. Uh, yes. Right. Uh, so here they all, all are, very basic. And uh, then you can view zoom off or on, and distortion level, or whether it's voxel or pixel. Um, and then info, and that's about it. So, let's get into it. I've already done the tutorial, so I don't need to do that. Uh, we were working on a master teleporter that could transport you anywhere to unlimited distances, but something went wrong. Something came through from the other side. Sort of sounds like Doom, doesn't it? First, we thought it was a minor glitch, but it quickly turned into a nightmare. The facility AI became aggressive, and the military, ro military robots turned on us. The space of the complex started warping. Rooms and hallways would randomly reorganize themselves as if following some twisted pattern. I decided to seal myself in here and wait for help. I've been hiding out here for weeks. Oh dear. But nobody came and I'm running out of food. My only chance is using the regular teleporters of the facility to get to the master teleporter and then teleport myself back to Earth. Alright. So as you may have guessed, this is actually in the future. What have we got here? Empty cans. They'll come in handy if I want to create a can can gun. Alright. So this is the game basically. It's all quite pixelated and everything like that. Um, I have... What do I have? Just a 9mm pistol and two bombs and two empty cans. Right. So uh, basically you, you can uh, punch with the left mouse button or you aim with the right mouse button and then shoot. It's got some nifty effects with the shooting too, so just uh, bear with me. And we'll get some uh, shooting going. Now, as you can see, there's shadow everywhere you can't see. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Shouldn't be uh, wasting my ammo, should I? It's going to reload there. Uh, you can only see what you can see, basically. That's the best way to explain it. So if I come back down here, everything's back in shadow, and then slowly it's revealed. So it adds a level of tension, I guess, uh, that you wouldn't normally get. Okay, so these things here with uh, brackets, it's probably not very definable here, but you can interact with those. Note to self by scientist number four, chemistry sector. The standard Militech canned heat given to reactivated combatants contains artificial smell enhancers that make the food extremely desirable for units. I have received information that some guerrilla human armies fighting against the Militech supplied reactive... Oh god, this just keeps going on and on. <laughs> it's good, but I'm probably not going to read all that just for a let's play, so... Or first impressions, I should say. Alright, so th there is a story to the game. There are ten levels to the game, and as I said, they're all procedurally generated. And it has a map too, so there's the map. That's pretty cool. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Phew. In the tutorial, you, you don't actually shoot anything except uh, targets. So they're not really. Ooh, scary sounds. Not really moving as like an uh, enemy can. Ooh, ooh, what's in here? Ah! 
Oh god. Die, die. Oh god. Oh, only eight. I've got 80 health, so that's alright. <laughs> Uh, take all that. Alright. Yep, I'm not going to read all that, sorry. Um, okay, so, med kit, another bomb, gun clip, and a bigger bomb. So, here's an example, okay? Uh, let's just... Hang on. What's going on here? Oh, there we go. Okay, so these are our bombs, and we can combine those into bigger bombs. So let's do that. There we go. So now I only have one small bomb, and two of the other small bombs were converted into a bigger bomb, which is this one, 500. So there you go. That's how that works. Oh, crap. Oh! <laughs> I did not mean to do that. I just dropped two bombs, and... Um, Yes, not good. So I've wasted those. Oh well, never mind. Got to be more careful. <laughs> All right, doesn't look like we can get through there unless I put a bomb there. I'm going to throw it. Uh, these have one second detonators, so you've got to be really careful. Did that do anything? It did. No, it didn't. Damn it! So I wasted another bomb. <laughs> oh no. As I mentioned, this is a roguelike, so there are no saves. There is uh, permadeath, I think. And. Shite. Alright. We're okay. Still on 76 health, so not too bad. Ooh, is that a. Uh... It is. Alrighty. Cool. So we've got some bombs again. That's good. It's a mailbox. Alright. Well, before we go through there, we'll probably have a look, see at this little note here. Mailbox. Oh, okay. Right, so uh, from what I can see with the game, you actually can uh, combine things that are the same colour, I think. So let's have a look here. Ooh, I can uh, do a nail bomb. That's pretty cool. Let's do that. Nifty. All right, and uh, let's reload our weapon here. Mm, can't wait to use that. Okay. Hmm. Some, uh, oh, what's in here? Let's see what happens. Ouch. <laughs> One can never be fast enough to outrun death. You were not fast enough. Oh, well, so that's our end of our game. <laughs> uh, we were killed by stupidity, not monsters. So it uh, gives you a rundown of what you did. So you got your accuracy there, items combined, secrets found. Oh, there's secrets in this game. That's nifty. Um, and then all your kills. So I killed six mutants, two zombies, and one large mutant. All right, let's have another quick playthrough. And here we go. So let's pick that up and that. And it's slightly different too. The... Uh, the structure of the level's the same, kind of, but it's sort of placed differently. I guess with the first level, you would kind of expect that. Uh, let's go up instead. And... no, we can't. Okay. Yeah, so I'm not sure if the uh, first level is slightly more structured. It did say on the website that uh, each level is sort of randomised. But how randomised, I'm not exactly sure. I don't know if every level is like this, or... Phew. Oh. That was sneaky. I was reloading and they came. Oh, god damn it. There we go. Well, wasted a lot of ammo there. That's not cool. Um, yeah, I can't really remember this part, so maybe it's just sort of the start parts are the same. Let's have a look at the map. 
Let's see. Yeah, it's kind of the same, but sort of tilted on a different axis. So I'm not sure now whether it's actually fully procedurally generated, but uh, good enough for me. I would like it to be more randomized. I think it would have much more replayability if it was. And maybe I'm, you know, completely talking out my bum hole here. Maybe it's just the first level that's like this. I'm not sure. But, uh, of course, this is a first impressions uh, show, so... Just going off what I see. Alright. There is a door. And there's some stuff. Storage cabinets marked on map. Ooh, that's handy. Alright. What do we got here? Right, so there's one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. Right. Unfortunately, can't zoom in and out on the map. A uh, small criticism, if I may say so. So you do run... Oh, crap. You do sort of run when you're not aiming. I've been aiming this whole time because I don't want to die horribly. Is that a... That looks like it might be a secret. And, yes, there we go. Ooh, what did I get? Ooh, a new gun. And item database updated. All right, cool. Ooh, what's this? Microchip. Okay, a programmable 8-bit microprocessor. Hmm, let's see if I can combine anything. No, it doesn't look like it. Alright. So perhaps I was wrong about the colours. Perhaps it's uh, sort of designating what type of item it is. So, for example, weapons are white. Just regular items are green and then explosives are red. I could be wrong, though. Who knows? Who knows? These are the kind of things you find out over multiple plays, playthroughs, I guess. Uh, can I interact with that thing? No, it doesn't look like it. And take all that. Thank you very much. Alright, what you got for me over here? Hmm, should I risk a bomb? I'm not actually sure. Oh, uh, why the hell not? No, that wasn't a very good throw at all. No, it didn't do anything for me. Never mind. I like that there are secrets, though. That's good. Whoa! I've got to change my weapon. <laughs> That's a nifty weapon. Uh, I think that might be a grenade launcher, but I'm not exactly sure. All right, empty can. Go back to my 9mm here. Oh! Did not see them at all. <laughs> Okay, 61 health, so we're not doing too badly. We have uh, encountered a lot more monsters than uh, last round. Oh god. Oh no, I'm out of, out of ammo. <laughs> Gee, that guy was a big one, wasn't he? Okay, uh, so, oh gee, I don't know what to do now. Uh, I think I can just attack. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> oh, no, no, that's, <laughs> that was so dumb. <laughs> that's why I'm so bad at roguelikes, because I make dumb mistakes and permadeath every time. <laughs> Oh no. Alright, we'll skip all that because I'm not going to read that. Well, I've got a higher accuracy, which is good. It uh, only lasted 4 minutes. 4 minutes 49 seconds. Oh dear me. Found one secret and killed 17, 1 and 2 monsters. Oh dear. So 20 in total. Well, there you go. That's Tally Glitch. It's damn fun. Uh, I'd say it's well worth the money. Even just playing that first level was really fun. I'd do that over and over and over. Uh, at least for uh, an hour or so. So uh, well worth the uh, money, I think. And uh, yeah, you can pick it up on Deshira or their website. They have a demo too, so go and check that out. And of course they have a blog and everything that you could possibly want 
is in the description. So thanks for watching. This has been your host, the Pixel Pirate, and we will see you next time. Shiver me timbers!